In the previous video, we have enabled a possibility to place our road by dragging our mouse and now we can see that our prefabs are cor correctly modified so that they fit what is currently their neighbors. Then we can create this fancy road. Now, what we are going to do in this video is we are going to tie up this UI with the system so that we can swap what we want to place and at the end we are going to implement placement of houses and special structures to finish off our city builder. So let's get to it, let's stop the game. And for the UI, what we will need to do is go to our scripts folder, right click and create and choose the new C -sharp script and let's call it UI controller. Okay, let's open this script up in Visual Studio. Great. Let's delete the content of this script and here again we are going to use some delegates to tie up this UI with our game manager and we are going to get the references to those three buttons we have in our uh, UI. So let's create public action. So our delegates all enter to be using system. So just putting the using system at the top of this class and we are going to create three callbacks for each button so on road placement on house placement and on special placement okay next we are going to get the references to our buttons public button let's call place road button place house button And we are going to have place special button. Of course, we could tie those in Unity in the inspector with our game manager's methods. Let's alt enter on the button and say uh, using Unity engine UI elements. I, th I think UI is the correct one. Okay. Uh, but I like to assign my buttons through scripts because we are going to implement an outline and we are going to outline the currently selected buttons so the player knows which structure he is or she is currently placing. So let's create public color. Let's call it outline color. Great. And again, at the end, we are going to create list of buttons and let's call it button list. We will use this list to reset all the buttons so it resets their outline so what is this outline let's go back to unity and here in the hierarchy at the beginning of the project we have imported the canvas which contains a panel we can click 2d in our scene view to see this uh, menu let's click f to focus on it and our panel contains the text and the buttons and you can see that on each button you have an outline with some predefined color and the distance, effect distance, let's enable this component and you can see that it creates an outline outside of the button and we can use it to indicate which button is currently clicked, so which objects or which uh, prefab are we currently placing, so which structure or rather. And we are going to disable this outline and we are going to control the outline color as well as the outline itself through our UI controller script. Okay, let's go back to our UI controller script. So what we will need to do now is to create a start method. And we are going to fill in our button list. So button list equals our new list. And we are, I'm going to type them by hand. So place house button, place house, but, uh, house button, place road button and place special button. Great. Now we are going to assign the listeners to our buttons. So we are going to call place road button dot on click dot add listener, which method allows us to add listeners to our button on click event. And I'm going to use the lambda expression. So just simple brackets and lambda expression. So equal and greater sign. And we are going to open this curly brackets. Okay, let me format it a bit. And that's it. And here inside, we are going to call reset button color. 
which will simply reset the outline. Generate this method since we do not have it. We are going to modify outline to set the outline color. And we are going to pass here our button. So first it will be place road button. Okay, we do not have this method, so alt enter and generate it. And at the end we are going to call on road placement question mark to see if anything is listening to it and invoke. Okay, and that's it for this button. So we can copy this statement, paste it below, and just swap the place road button to place house button. Let's copy the name and paste it in the modifier outline. And on road placement, instead, we are going to call on house placement. Let's again copy this, and we are going to call now place special button. Let's copy the name. We can pass it to the modify outline. I have misspelled it, so control RR. And I'm going to modify the name. And instead of on house placement, we are going to call on special placement. Great. And we have those two methods to implement. So modify outline will get the button. So let's call button button. And we are going to call var outline equals button get component and of type outline. Now what we can do is call outline dot effect color and we are going to set it to our outline color that we have defined at the top of our class. And at the end we are going to call outline and we are going to set it to be enabled. So enabled equals true. Okay. And what we are going to do in the reset button color is simply loop for each button button in buttons list. And we are going to set button dot get component outline. And we are going to set its enabled flag to be false. That's why we have created this list to simply loop through it to disable our button outline. Great. And that's it for our UI controller. Let's go back to Unity. Okay. We are going to choose our canvas from the hierarchy and drag onto it our UI controller. And we can drag our buttons. So place road button. We are going to drag our button, place house to the correct spot and place special button. And we can choose a color for our outline. I have chosen some kind of purple or pink color. Great. And what we need to do now is to go to our game manager to tie our UI controller with it. So let's open the game manager script. Great. Now let's create a public UI controller reference at the top. So public UI controller. And we are going to call it UI controller. Okay. And now we are going to assign instead of to the input manager, we are going to assign a UI controller dot on road placement plus equals root placement handler. We do not have this method, so alt enter and generate this method. And here we are going to call clear input actions. We do not have this method, so alt enter and generate this method. And we are going to ta take the assignments of the callbacks to road manager that we assign to the actions or the callbacks from the input manager. Let's cut it out from the start and place it in our root placement handler. And let's see our clear input actions. Let's paste the same content, so all the callbacks for the input manager. And instead we are going to set them to be equal to null to reset all the assigned methods. Now this is great about action delegate since we do not need to unassign each and every method from it, we can simply set it to be null and each method will be unassigned automatically. So save the script. Let's go back to Unity. Okay, let's press play. And now 
we should be able to see that there is a null reference exception, of course, because we haven't assigned the game manager, the UI controller to the game manager. So let's assign our canvas. Let's press play again. And now the error should be gone. We can see that we are not placing anything from the start. If we click our spatial house and road, now for the road it works, but our outline is not being shown. So let's see in our canvas, we have clicked last time on the road placement button and the issue is that the color alpha is zero. So let's stop the game and we are going to change the alpha in our UI controller. So in the canvas UI controller, choose the color and increase the alpha. Now, if we press play, everything should be working. So let's see, we can pre press, uh, we can click on the button and the outline is being changed. The road is placing road, the house, because those do, do not call the unassigned callbacks or unassign the handlers method in our game manager. So let's tackle this. Let's go to our game manager. Okay, great. And we can assign our, in our start method, UI controller dot on house placement plus equals house placement handler. Okay, alt enter on it. And UI controller dot on special placement plus equals special placement handler. Alt, alt enter on it. And what we can call in those methods is clear input action for sure. Great. Now let's save it. Let's go back to Unity. Wait for it to compile the scripts. Let's press play. And now we will be able to click on road, place road, house will do nothing and special will do nothing and road again will place road. Great. In the next video, we will create a structure manager, which will allow us to place our house and special buildings. See you in the next video.